Hello, I would like to introduce you the new development in the 1.5 uh, line uh, in Naroka development. So, uh, firstly, I'm uh, sure you you are used uh, with the Naroka project, how it looks, how it behaves. Mostly, when you, you work, you have a, a right side uh, view where you can get help based on the shape you work on when you select a shape uh, you can select it either from tree view or from scene and uh, you have a property grid to edit it mostly you can edit uh, specific shape properties like here when i select this rectangle uh, you will have like you, know, you can set up the width the height uh, the shape name if it's transparent its color and some transformation. Uh, based uh, on this work, we want to get it further and uh, to make to you to uh, to be more pleasant to use. One uh, uh, part we would like to improve is that uh, if you want to change for rectangle one, rectangle two, and rectangle three, supposedly the name or uh, something like this you'll have to do a lot of uh, mouse working go left go right go left go right uh, the other point is that uh, some uh, useful uh, operations that work more or less uh, uh, in the way you expect you they are not exposed uh, anywhere like uh, copy cut or and paste or the, uh, you, if you would like to put a dimension on a specific shape or something like this or to draw in a specific plane uh, th this work is not complete yet so uh, you, you may experience some problems but uh, I hope to not be that much and to be fixed very soon anyway right now I want to show to you the preview of how it uh, will work and uh, what would you expect okay so the difference uh, it will be that it will exist a uh, uh, a new window that will be selected automatically after I will click right now only from uh, uh, the open cascade view so from here okay so if I will click it will appear a floating toolbar this toolbar will have the operation as like cut copy and paste which are uh, very common and uh, also it, too, it will have uh, the same as in property grid most specific options so for this rectangle I can change the width the height and uh, also even the property grid uh, because I wanted to make it that easy uh, it will have some improvements here in this case uh, you can uh, lock and unlock like to put a constraint automatically you, s you see it right away uh, without uh, any uh, problem. Also, if uh, what would you do if you want to change the name? Y if you are in a more complex shape, you probably want to change the name, and for this reason, do not move the mouse till uh, left. You will have only to double click, edit, and set the rectangle to put plane e uh, I. O Z and and this is it and the, the, the rectangle uh, was uh, renamed accordingly. Okay. Also, if you are uh, annoyed by uh, uh, this uh, dialog or uh, you want to move it uh, uh, away, you have under the options the floating where you can. Uh, add or remove some extra tools like for example you don't want cut copy and paste or you don't want it at all or uh, you will want to be f farther on the right or farther on the left okay uh, I will close it and after I will click once again you see that it's only the property grid okay I hope uh, you will enjoy using this uh, floating toolbar and uh, it will make your life easier and more pleasant to use tarot card. Bye bye.